Rangi misena la kachiberu. Lerim kachi zumchi na cha matoru. Tiseda chigo mitsa ngazara ii. Tiseda chisu ni itenlu. Rangi lawa chuse kholare gopdi kanewa kyal che. Di beule pise lewe ka zonam jaa chi chi. Zamlin gyakab leshe chi na tarshab joo yi mi. Titan se me chuse kholo chuk. Ju gyakab na le nandin be diya bhi. Di suje gong che nil tam jib jang ap chile go chuk di. Tung ta khe chinga chinge pa na be yab le. Rang ra so se yong bab da tin di. Ji chow chow be yi se shun yi. Ji ba jamba chin tim pu tom di bulu chuse kholo ka shen le taan di. Dung da chi tom di dekho sha sa hong jamba chin. Lam gi ta lu kyal wang ding chim yo to lu yi se shun yi. Wai ane me shu shu wai. Na ane me shu. Kuzu Zongpula and welcome to Do You Know Your Child Season 4. I'm your host Cho. One of the most important relationships is the relationship between parents and their children. Parents and children share a bond free of rage and pressure as they would support and respect one another. However, both parents and children are humans, and humans do have flaws in one way or the other. Therefore, regardless of all the imperfections, as a parent, we need to build and cultivate the best parent-child relationship. As your child grows, help them make their own choices. It may not be necessarily good choices, but it will help them learn and grow. Each child is different and has a unique personality, so let them guide you with their unique personality. Focus and work on your parenting skills and behavior. Take time to assess your own behavior. Ask yourself, what can you do to keep your reactions in check? Make your child a priority in your life. As a parent, you are responsible for feeding, clothing, educating, raising and protecting your children. Have them know that they are your priority and that they are not controlled in each and every matter. Let's welcome our first participant from Punaka and ask his daughter later the same 10 questions and tally their answers. Hi, my name is Kilibida. I am 10, 10 years old. I study in Kurtang Middle Secondary School. I am in class 5C. I want to come in to know a child. I think it will be great to participate in it. This is my little sister. Her name is Palin Choden. This is my mother. Her name is Choden. This is my father. His name is Tofu. Today, I am going to come with him in the show. This is my grandmother. Her name is Zonki. I call her Anna. She is my favorite person. Welcome to Do You Know Your Child? La. Please introduce yourself. La. Uh, my name is Tofu and uh, I'm working as the trainer in one of the vocational institute under the Ministry of Labor and Human Resources. Mm -hmm. And I have two daughters, and the uh, elder one is studying in class five, and younger daughter is studying in class one. Okay. So, and uh, my wife also working in, in the, the hydropower construction. Oh, okay, I see. So you and your wife, you both work? We are both working. Okay, and uh, both your daughters go to school? Yes. I see. Is both. that, uh, so you have a very small and happy family? It yes. seems like. Is there anyone else in the house? So it's very difficult without uh, having somebody in, a, in my house. Therefore, her grandmother is assisting us to uh, look after, after my two daughters. I see. Okay. So you have come here with one of your daughters. Please uh, tell us who that daughter is and tell us a little something interesting about your daughter. So I mainly come here because my daughter forced me to attend such type <laughs> of program. and. Yeah. Uh, this was the most awaited program for my daughter. Uh -huh. And today she got the golden opportunity. And uh, if I share something about her positive aspect, 
my daughter was, right now she was studying class five, mm -hmm. and from class PP to till class five, she topped the the first position from wow. her class. Yeah. So that is a positive aspect of my daughters, yeah. and also all the time, uh, she used to read books, mm -hmm. and also after reaching home, uh, we normally uh, did not guide my daughters, but yeah. uh, she usually studied herself. Oh, that okay. is uh, another advantage of my daughters. Oh, I see. So she is a self-starter, yeah. you say, and uh, she's a good reader. What kind of books does she read? Uh, normally, uh, she read uh, the dog diary, because mm -hmm. most of the time when we went uh, to Thimpu and Pinsaling, she used to call and father bring me this type of book. Yeah. So I, I still remember the dog diary. Dog diary. diary yeah. Oh, okay. It's a series of books, series I guess. Series of books. Okay. Students who do academically well uh, have been found to be good readers. So maybe that is helping your daughter do well in her studies too. Which is why I always tell parents to encourage their kids to not just focus on studying, doing yes. math problems, studying English, science and all that, but also focus on the, the leisurely reading. Yes. Because it does help in overlap. Now. What about your younger daughter? Does your do el elder yes. daughter have an impact on your younger kid yes. also? La? She also topped the first position from her class. La. Therefore, my oh. two daughters uh, okay. in the similar uh, performance. I see. I'm sure a lot of the parents want to know what do you do as a parent to have both your kids do so well in school. I mean, if you can give other parents one advice as to how to bring up good students at home, what would be your one advice? Usually I used to advise them that due to the changes in technology mm -hmm. and the, in the modernization, we have to uh, teach our children how to use the internet mm -hmm. and also how to read the books la, regarding mm -hmm. the latest uh, way of living. La. I see. Okay, that's a great tip. La. And with that, we are going to go move on ahead. Before we start with the program, I'm going to ask you, um, have you watched the show on TV? La? To be frank, in my house, we don't have the direct television connection. Yes. Therefore, sometimes we usually watch in the YouTube. La. Oh, okay. Yes. So you have watched it yes. on YouTube. And yes, we are available on YouTube yes. too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you the rules. We have 10 questions. I have 10 questions here. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you first. Okay. Then we're going to ask these 10 questions to your daughter later. We will tell you the answers and that will be your score. Okay, yes. la. So are you ready? La? Yes, ready. La. Okay. Question number one. Do you think your daughter would know the names of her grandparents? All the yes. names? How many grandparents does she have alive? From father's side, both are already expert. Okay. But mother's side, both okay, are alive. So she's got one, uh, she has one grandpa and one, one grandma. grandma. Okay. And she knows both their both names. Both the names. Okay. What are their names? Grandfather's name is Sangi Pasang yes. and uh, grandmother's name is Zomkila. Okay, all I right. think she knows. I see. Question number two. Do you think, here are two options, online games and physical activities like playing outside. Yes. If I gave your daughter the choice of uh, these two and she has to only pick one, which one would she go for? Online games or physical activities like sports outside? So as per my past experience, my daughter will definitely choose the online game. Mm, okay. Because in our campus, we do have the pre Wi Fi connection. Less. Therefore, definitely my daughter will choose the online game. Oh, what kind of games does she play online? So, normally, she play the free game. Oh, okay. Because free games. I see less. Um, question number three What is your daughter's favorite song? Saturday Night, the one in the song. Saturday, Saturday night. night. Oh, okay. Next question. Question number four is What is your daughter's favorite color? Pink color. Pink. Pink. La. Okay. Question number five Who is your daughter's best friend? Sayang Tamang. La. Okay. Have you met Sayang? Yes, he's our neighbor. La. Oh, neighbor. okay. Less. And do, the, do they go to school together? Yes. Same class? Same. Not same. Not, no? not in the same class, but they are best friend. La. Oh, that's okay. Next question. What is your daughter's favorite TV show? Uh, I'm not that much sure, but uh, mm -hmm. I heard that uh, Ninja Hattori or maybe something like that. Uh, okay, Ninja Hattori. Ninja okay, Hattori. yes, yes. I am aware of Ninja Hattori. Yeah. Okay. Next question. What is your daughter's favorite subject? My daughter's favorite subject is social study and uh, uh, English. English and social studies. 
What time does your daughter go to bed? 9.30 evening. 9 30. Okay. Next question. How many times does your daughter brush her teeth in a day? My daughter used to brush only one time, that also morning. Morning. Question number 10. What is your daughter's favorite hobby? My daughter's favorite hobby is to read books. Mm, okay, all that right. That is our main hobby. That is one of the best hobbies a child can have. Um, with that, we have, you have answered all the 10 questions. We will now have your daughter come here. Yes. And I'll ask these questions to her. Okay? We have finished talking to the dad. We now have the daughter. Kilibida, why don't you introduce yourself first? I am Kilibida. I'm 10 years old. I study in Kurtang Middle Secondary School. I'm in class 5C. Mm -hmm. I have uh, I've younger sister called Baldin Chodin. Baldin Chodin. Okay. Kilibida, you have a very beautiful name. I don't know what is the combination. I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's the combination, but it's a very beautiful name. Kilibida. Who gave you the name? From Chimilhaga. Chimilhaga? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, Kile, I asked your dad 10 questions about you. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you, okay? Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yes. We are going to start with our first question. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Kile, do you know your grandparents' names? Yes. What are their names? Sangi Pasang mm -hmm. and Zonki. Okay. And uh, I heard your grandma lives with you. Is that Grandma Zonki? Yes. Who lives with you. Okay. Tell me a little something about your, what do you call her? Gram Ange or what do you call her? Anna. Anna. Okay. What is Anna? Grandmother. In what language? Ha. Ha. Are you from Ha? Yes. Okay. And uh, you call her Anna. That, I like that name. So tell me a little something about your Anna. She sometimes cook. Okay. And help us. Oh, what does she help you with? Sweeping. Oh, really? Does, is it nice to have Anna at home with you? Yes. Yeah, I think so. It, it's really... There's a warm feeling about having a grandparent in the house and you're very lucky your Ange, Anna, is with you, right? If I give you two choices, you ha now you have to pick one, okay? The first choice is to play online games, okay? And the second choice is to play, do some physical activities, okay? And by physical activities, I mean games outside your house, okay? You can do... Um, I don't know, skipping, doing whatever, but physically you have to be involved. Which one would you go for? Online games or physical activities? Physical activities. Why would you go for physical activities? Because I don't play much online. Okay. Do you, do you at all play online games? No. Okay. And what kind of physical activities would you want to play? Skip. Ice and water. Oh, okay, all right. So you enjoy playing outside, which is really good. I like that answer because it's good for you. While you're uh, spending some time outside your house, you're also uh, moving your body a lot, okay? Which gives you exercise, right? Which is exercise. Mm -hmm. It's healthy for you. Um, question number three. What is your favorite song? What makes you beautiful? What makes you beautiful by One Direction, right? Yes. Okay. Any other songs that you love singing, that you love? Um... All the Zonka, Zonka songs. I see. Okay. You like Zonka songs too. Any other English songs that you might have missed? Let it go from Frozen. Frozen. Okay. All right. So, we'll go on to our next question. What is your favorite color? Purple. Purple. Why do you like purple? Because it li looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Next question. Who is your best friend? Kim Sang Diki, Yang Zom and Chiang Tamang. Okay, all right. Next question. What is your favorite TV show? Doraemon and Ninja Hattori. Okay. Next question. What is your favorite subject? English and Social Studies. All right. Question number eight. 
What time do you go to bed? 9 or 9.30. Okay. Question number 9. How many times do you brush your teeth in a day? Once. Once. Last question, Kile. What is your favorite hobby? To read storybooks. Okay, all right. Do you, you, I heard from your dad that you enjoy reading. What kind of books do you like to read? Dog Diaries. Okay. And Journey Mo Silton. Okay, all right. Wow. And it's good. I want to encourage you to keep reading, okay? Not just notebooks, not just classwork, homework, textbooks, but definitely, definitely have your little library and make that library bigger and bigger and keep reading. It really helps a person grow, okay, and learn a lot. Well, with that, you've answered all the mm. 10 questions. We will now find out what your dad's score is, okay? okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Do you think your daughter would know the names of her grandparents? The yes. names? Yes. Which one would she go for? Online games or physical activity? My daughter will definitely choose the online game. Physical activities. What is your daughter's favorite song? Saturday nights, the only song. What makes you beautiful? What is your daughter's favorite color? Pink color. Purple. Who is your daughter's best friend? Sayang Tamang. Kim Sang Diki, Yang Zom, and Chiang Tamang. What is your daughter's favorite TV show? The Ninja Hattori or maybe it's Torimon and Ninja Hattori. What is your daughter's favorite subject? Social study and. Uh, English. English and social studies. What time does your daughter go to bed? 9.30 evening. 9 or 9.30. How many times does your daughter brush her teeth in a day? One time, that also morning. Morning. Once. What is your daughter's favorite hobby? Read books. Yeah. To read story books. All right, I have, your I have your dad's score with me, and your dad has scored 7 out of 10. And that's a great score, right? Yes. I think that's a great score. Are you happy with your score, La? <coughs> I'm really happy, La, because uh, uh, that was beyond my expectation, La. Oh. I've, scored, we have, uh, I've scored 7 la, yes. out of 10. You should be happy. I mean, <coughs> I always say that these, these scores don't mean much. But I mean, we love to get a good score, right? Yes. <laughs> but um, let's take a look at the answers your dad wasn't able to, uh, questions that your dad wasn't able to answer correctly, okay? Question that your dad got wrong was, uh, he thought you would prefer online games to going uh, to uh, physical activities. But uh, I think that's a good answer. I'm sure you like her answer, right? She likes to yes. play outside and do physical activities, so that's good. Favorite song, your dad thought you liked a song called Saturday Night. But you said you liked what makes you beautiful and let it go, right? So maybe you guys can later talk about it and yes. find out, all right, where the <coughs> miscommunication went. And the favorite color, it's very close, pink and purple, right? They kind of even look alike sometimes. Your dad thought you liked pink, but you liked purple, right? All right, well, with that, your dad was able to score 7 out of 10, which is a great score, as I was saying. Now, with that, we will go on to our next thing. Because your dad is older than you, we're going to ask your dad what his commitment is, okay? Is there any way that you, any one way that um, you would like to improve your relationship with your two daughters? Since they, they have good performance in their studies, mm -hmm. therefore, since I've been the parents, I would uh, commit that uh, as far as possible, I would like to complete their studies till uh, the, the, the fulfillment of their desires. I see. Okay. That's 
So I think you, what your dad is trying to say is that he will give his full support and he and, uh, will help you as much as he and um, your mom can to educate you. Am I right, Lan? Yes. And to push you towards your goals and desires. Okay. And because education helps you achieve your goals, he decided that he will help you learn. He will help you. He'll provide you with all the necessary tools that you need to learn and grow. Okay. And I think that's a really, really, really good commitment. Now, Kile, your dad has given me three commitments. You don't have to pick all three. You just have to pick one, okay? So, and that'll be your commitment, okay? Okay? Okay. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so here you go. That she will learn, she will learn how to dress on her own. I want Appa to explain to you what he meant by that, okay? So what do you mean, La? So normally, uh, from the early age, from class PP, uh, the we parents used to uh, pit uh, them as a spoon feeding. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, after attending class five and six now, it is time for them to know how to wear themselves. Because mm -hmm. nowadays in the school also there are so many uh, program called the scout camping. Sometimes, or sometimes mm -hmm. they usually go out of the station. Yeah. So that time, if they learn how to dress themselves, then it will not create much problem. Okay, they that's a big worry and I can completely connect with that. Your dad is worried that if you, and because you're a brilliant student, you might get opportunities to uh, explore um, outside Punaka, right? So he's worried that if you get the opportunity to leave Punaka and go elsewhere, he'll have to worry that, oh my gosh, my daughter doesn't know how to put on a kira. Who will help her this morning, right? So these are little things that he thinks you are at the right age to learn and do it for yourself, okay? So Kile, do you think you can try and <coughs> learn? I know it's a big deal. I know it's, it's really complicated. You have to put on the full Kira, right? But at some point, you have to learn. And it's very easy once you learn, okay? Okay. 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 <laughs> do you think you can <coughs> try and learn? Yes. Okay. Do you promise that? Yes, I promise. Okay. You will try and learn, okay? And it's a very slow process. You will learn it and it, it might not turn out perfectly fine in the beginning, but eventually you will get better, okay? Okay. All right, so Kile, that is your commitment. We'll now go on to our next segment, which is with love. My dearest Kile, Appa is uh, writing to you to say how much I love you and care you. I have all my hope and aspiration on you to be a good student in your school and at least get through MBBS as you have already decided to become a doctor in the near future. And uh, since you top the outstanding performance in from class PP to class 5, I have full trust and confidence on you. From my part, I will always be there for you. I need you more than you need me. Your supper. Oh, okay. So you want to be a doctor? Yes. Okay, that's a big and a beautiful and a dream that you really have to work hard to get, okay? And do you think you can work hard? Yes. Yes, right? Yes, okay. Kile, did your dad ever write to you? Did you ever get a letter from your dad? No. No, right? This is your first uh, letter from your dad, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to do something special with this letter. Kile, it's now your turn to read your letter. Dear Daddy, I just wanted to let you know that I love you so much and I am so grateful to be blessed with you as my dad. I love when you tell jokes. You make me so happy. No one has experienced you the way I have. I am Daddy's little girl and our relationship is priceless. You keep our family together, more than together, you keep a roof over our head, food in our stomach, education at our hands, and more, more that we need to survive. You are so amazing, Dad. I know you are always humble, but you really deserve an award or something. For, for so much you did, you cook amazing food, you fix cars like nothing. Thank you for everything you have done for me. 
You are the best dad in the world. Your dad is Kilimina. Oh, okay. So your dad is a cook, a mechanic. <laughs> but this is a. I think this is a letter that I you should save um, because you can completely see that your daughter appreciates a lot of the things that you do at home. I mean. Uh, starting from cooking to the fact that you're educating her and to the fact that you take care of things like cars. So your dad fixes cars. Okay, all right. I have a lot of gifts for you, Kile. The first one that I want to talk to you about is the very, very, very popular gift on our show. A lot of our uh, guests, the little ones, mostly come to do you know your child for this gift now do you know what's in my hand yes yes what is it titan watch a titan watch okay okay and then i have a couple of books with me um we have been um getting a lot of books from a lot of authors and they're only giving this to us because they want to have us give this to you okay so we have chado wongmo the very popular children's author who has um, given this book, Abi, Meme and the Mosquito, okay, for you. We have Coming Home by a very young writer. Then one of our beloved books, His Majesty Jimmy Singh Wonchu, The King Who Gave Everything. And the special thing about this book is it is an autographed um, copy. Mm -hmm. uh, the author has given this to you. And the other book is um, When Little Chuchu Learns to Fly. Do you know what Chuchu is? Bird, yeah. Kile Wong Mo and Tring No Guiden. Okay, illustrated by Ugin Doji. Now, you, these books, you can read them yourself first, okay? And then you can give them to your younger sister and then have it in your collection and then share it with others, okay? Then I have a couple of books from Ministry of Education that you can enjoy. And the final gift that we have is a very special gift and it's priceless. I say priceless because we cannot have done this without the help of, uh, of your parent. He's put in a lot of effort, okay? So this is the letter that your father wrote, okay? And uh, we just decided to frame this for you because it's a very special letter. This is your dad's first ever letter to you, right? Yes. And, um, I hope you'll cherish this and along with the little gifts that we have for you, this is a little thank you from Do You Know Your Child to you, okay? With that, we have come to the end of the show. I want to thank you, my dear Kile, and of course, your dad for coming to Do You Know Your Child. positive correlationship between parents and children can grow stronger by continually spending time with them. We should make our children understood, heard and important. We need to make them realize that they are one of the important components of our life and that they do matter a lot to us. Children have a strong need to feel important and to belong. When parents fulfill that need, children put their interest and energy to playing, learning and discovering instead of concentrating on getting your attention. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt or you can find us on our Facebook page. And thank you. Bye-bye.
Rangi misena la kachi beru. Lerim kachi zumchi na cha matoro. Tiseda chigo mitsa ngatara ii. Tiseda chisu ni itenlu. Rangi lawa chuse kholare gopdi kanewa kel che. Di beule pise lewe ka zonam jaa chi chi. Zamlin gya kab leashe chi na tarshab joo ii mi. Titan se me chuse kholo chu. Du gya kab na le nandin be diya bi. Disuji gongce nyiltam jibjang apcili gocuk di Tungta khe singa simgi pana be yeble Rangra sose yomba batin di Ji cho cho be yi se shuni yi Ji ba jemba chin timpu thomgi bulu chuse kholo ka shen le thang di Dumda ji thomdi dikho jya sa hong jemba chin Lamgi ta lu kyal wang ding chim yo tolo yi se shuni yi Wai ane me shu shu wai Na ane me shu Do my photo, right? Do you do it?